Now to a problem that you, your neighbors, and pretty much all of Texas is dealing with high energy bills. Boy, are we. For some customers, their bills have more than doubled. The night team's Patty Santos talks to an energy expert who says there are three reasons that our bills are going up as high as they are. And this is someone's grocery budget, yeah. you know, being taken out in a given month. Wow. Yeah. $354. That's the price tag on Pablo Calvas's latest energy bill. And he says that has more than doubled in a few months. We're pretty mindful of our energy usage. We even we raised our temperature to 78 on average on a thermostat. And even that doesn't seem to help. Calvo represents Texans across the city and the state feeling the pinch of increasing energy prices. You know, we've had to make adjustments. My own bill is almost double what it was this time last year. Ed Hurst, an energy fellow at the University of Houston, says there's a few reasons Texans are paying more to stay cool this summer. One, the cost of natural gas used to produce power is over $8 per thousand cubic feet, compared to $4 last year. Two, on the electric side, we're paying ERCOT, the state's energy producer, higher prices due to the freeze of 2021. CPS, for example, has to go out and buy electricity from the ERCOT market, and, and it's just become much more volatile this summer. Three, the war in Europe. As long as the conflict in Europe continues, we will see uh, higher domestic prices. In a tweet, CPS Energy says, combine all that with record-breaking heat in May and June, and you have another contributor to higher bills. Hearst says the reality is only you can save yourself. The first and best thing a consumer can do is to conserve. Uh, the kilowatt hour that's not used is one that you don't have to pay for. The gallon of gasoline, the gallon of diesel that you don't use is one that you don't have to pay for. And Hearst tells us there is currently no Texas legislative action that could help uh, our energy grid make self-improvements or investments that could help lower our bills now or in the future. And we have also reached out to CPS Energy to find out what these challenges mean and how they're handling them here at home. We'll let you know what they say. Steve Stefania.